Hey everybody, Brian here. And today I wanted to talk about the workspace. If you've taken a class with me, you will hear me talk constantly about the workspace. And that's because I believe we need to train the way we're gonna fight. And in a life critical incident, when we fight, we fight to survive, right? There's no other acceptable alternative when it comes to a life critical incident, right? The only acceptable outcome is to survive. The reason why the workspace is so important is because it allows us to stay aware of what's happening around us. So what is the workspace? Well, if we have our traditional firing position, right? The workspace is merely keeping our chin up, level with the horizon, and merely breaking our arms down into a 90 degree angle, right? We're extended and breaking it down. This allows us to manage and manipulate our firearm however we need. It allows us to keep our head up. So in case we need to observe what's going on with our firearm, we need to shift focus from the threat to our firearm. It still allows my peripheral vision to observe what that threat might be doing. And then once we've dealt with that malfunction or reload and gotten the gun back in the working order, it's just a quick punch out back to, to readiness. What I see a lot of people doing on the range is when they need to break that gun down for reload or whatever, they bring it all the way down here, right? Reload time, they bring the gun down here. They bring it down to a high retention. The problem with that is if something goes wrong with our gun and we need to look at what our gun is doing, we have to drop our eyes down from the horizon. We lose the advantage of peripheral vision. The second disadvantage is it's just a longer travel from high retention to full extension. Right now, you might say, well, Brian, that's only two tenths of a second. Well, if your life is on the line, two seconds can seem like an eternity. There's no reason why you can't do everything you need to do with this firearm, whether it's a tap rack or whether it's a reload and getting the gun back in working order in our workspace area. So that's the workspace. I highly recommend that you be honest with yourself, observe your natural uh, tendency on the range as you break the gun down. Are you breaking that gun down to a low high retention position? Are you bringing it down too low? And then work hard to create a new training uh, muscle memory for whenever you break down the gun, it's in that workspace area. It's not out here at full extension. It's not down here at a high retention out of the way. It allows our chin to stay up and back in the fight. Again, this is Brian. I hope you find that helpful. Um, as always, continue to train hard, stay safe, and I hope to see you on the range.